to your warm up. We're going to get the whole body nice and warm and get you ready for this workout. So we're going to start just nice and upright, lifting up through the ribs and big arm circles back. So just really open up the chest. That's the way. And then take the hands behind your body for me and open up the chest. We're going to fold down, let those hands come up overhead, releasing those tight upper backs. That's the way. And now drop the hands and have a little bounce. Just letting all the connective tissue soften up. Draw the core in and we're going to slowly roll up. Flip the pony. <laughs> reach up overhead. That's it. Grab your wrist and just reach over, lifting through the top rib. We're just starting to stretch everything out and get nice and limber. Other way. That's the way. Coming down low with me now. We're going to pulse over this leg. Nice and easy for another three and two. Let's take it that way. Over the other side, pulsing. Well done. We're just stretching, getting that lateral movement on. And now we're gonna go side to side. So I want you to just feel a little bit cool here, yeah? Get nice and low, a little bit, uh, a little bit like a ninja. Get into it. There we are, beautiful. And then just stretching over this way, you're gonna just lift your toe and we're gonna hold it over this leg. I haven't got a huge amount of range here, so don't feel bad if you're not all the way down. Some of you might get a little bit deeper than me. That's perfect. And then we're gonna come up through a little squat. So wiggle your feet in, put the hands just above the knees and give me a little roll, like you're drawing a, an infinity sign or a figure eight. We're just stretching through the hips. All right, beautiful. Wiggle the toes in a little bit further and just pop your hand underneath the toe there. And we're gonna stretch the hamstrings and then lower down into a squat, getting that chest up. And stretch, woo, hair interruption. Right, <laughs> stretch it, and again, good, and we're gonna go one more of those. Last one, bend it down and come up. Just get into a comfortable squat position now. We're gonna reach the hands forward as we sit the butt back, and come up, and we're gonna pick up the pace. So we reach and sit and stand, and we reach and sit and stand, going back down like you're sitting into a seat, and then up nice and tall. We're gonna go for another three, and up, two, and up, and one, okay, bring it into a little jog now. It's just a nice little easy jog, feet just off the floor, and we're getting the ankles warm, getting the body a little bit fired up for everything you're gonna do today. It's gonna be some fun. That's it, starting to build some heat through the body. And now take it into a butt kick. So you can see from the side here, I'm just flicking up and getting those quads nice and stretchy as we go. So four, three, two and one. Just walk it back a little bit. Last few exercises. We're gonna bring one leg in. Whoa, balance. We're gonna bring one leg in and step forward into a lunge for me and then come back up. Other side, so a little squeeze your chest forward and in we come. And again, so pulling up that nice leg, coming forward, bringing it in, stretching through the hamstrings and getting ourselves set for a lunge. Coming up, we're just gonna scissor now. Starting to get that heat in the body. It's really important before you work out. You want not, not to, uh, lots of blood pumping, let's say. Good, for three and two and one. All right, come into center. Take one foot back, give a nice easy bounce into the calf. So just popping back in there and then give it a nice gentle stretch. Feels good. So your arm as a back leg up and over and bring it in. Other side and we're nearly done and ready to get started. A few final little movements to the upper body and we are there. Hold that leg. Good work. Stretch up and over. Well done. Let's do a few little star jumps here. You can start with a step out. When you're ready or if you're ready, you can jump it up, yeah? Nice and strong. Energy pumping now. Just about ready for this warm up. Just about ready for this workout. Split your stance. Give me a few little punches to finish. Get that upper body going. That's it. Chin down, nice and strong for another five, a little bit faster. Four, three, two, and one. Let's do it. Thanks so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, you'll love our health and fitness program. It's a holistic, fuss-free lifestyle with daily coach workouts, family-friendly meal plans, and practical mindfulness. Head to mytxo.com to sign up today.
This is a full body 10 out of 10 workout. That means we're working hard for 10 seconds and resting for 10 seconds and doing that five times per exercise with three exercises. Now I'm gonna take a moment just to show you the first one. It is a burpee. I know you guys know what it is, but just for technique wise, we jump the legs wide as we come down, we bring them together in the back, we come wide in and we jump. But you can also meet this with a step out or if you're really advanced, you can do a chest to floor. And if you're advanced, you don't need me to show you that, right? Here we go, we've got five rounds, starting in three and two and one. So fast as you can, down, out, in and jump. Or if you want to, you can just stand, okay? Whoa. One more and hold, okay? A little rest. My modification girls, I'm with you for the next round and then advanced girls, I'm taking you on. Ready? Three, two and one. So if you need the modification, step out. Step in, stand up, okay? There's no need to make it too tricky. If you're at home, you can literally put your hands on the chair or a couch as well to make that even easier. Hold. All right, advanced ladies, chest up or burpees. Are you with me? Everyone else, meet me where you're at in three, two, and one. So, my advanced girls, if you want, you can come all the way down. Whoop. Belly on the ground, legs out wide. Whoop. Hold. Great job, okay. Two more rounds. Now you have all your options, okay? You can change between as you go. Three, two, and one. Let's go. So down, out, in, stand or jump. All right, we got these guys. Wherever you're at, one more for me. Woo! And we hold. Come on, that. We've done regular, easy, four, four. One more round to go. All right, take a breath. Three, two, and one, let's go. So anything you want, you can step out, you can jump, you can come all the way down with me. Woo! One more of your choice. Woo! Ah, done. All right, take a quick breather. Next one is easy. We're going into a star jump. You're either meeting me here or you're meeting me here, okay? Little seconds, take your breath. We've got five rounds. So four, three, two, star jump. So nice and fast, yeah? I want you to be light on your feet, particularly when your legs are in the out position. The mistake a lot of people make with pelvic floor is going ha, as they go out and then the pressure is down. Hold, so you want light as you come out. All right, shake it out. Five seconds, four, three, two, let's do it. Pump it out, I want you to move as fast as you can, light on your feet, zip up from pelvic floor, right from here, all the way up towards the ribs, yeah? This is great pelvic floor, hard, Exercise. Oh, and what I mean by that is, as you get more advanced, it's a really good way to start to strengthen that pelvic floor further to lift up as you're jumping. Here we go, three, two, one. If you're not there yet, just step and tap, step and tap, yeah? So that's your modification. Move the arms fast, move the feet fast, and hold. Well done, two more rounds to go. A little bit easier than the burpees, but just. Here we go, three, two, one, pump it. So really move the arms fast, move the legs fast. Even if you're taking the taps, just really move at maximum speed, yeah? For three, two, one. Whew. All right, deep breath in. If you don't want to completely stop, you can take a little light jog. Sometimes good to have that active movement. And we're gonna go in three, two, one. Last round, pump it out, step or jump, right on the out. You got this. We got five seconds. We got four, three, two, and one, Woo. little midway high five for you. We're gonna drop it down. We're gonna do our last exercise here for full body. So this one we're gonna get into a bit of core, a bit of upper. We're gonna have the hands just wide on the shoulders and right under the shoulders, feet together in a plank. We're gonna go two jumps out or two steps out, up to you. And then we're gonna go plank row, plank row. If you want to, you can even do here, okay? That's fine, we go in three seconds, two, and one. So plank jack, plank jack, row, row. Plank jack, plank jack, row. Option one, step, step. Option two, I should say, if you want to make it a little easier. Good, hold it here. Woo! That core, she's a burning. Roll the shoulders, shake it out, roll the wrists. Are you ready? Come back down. How we go? Three, two, one. So jack, jack, row, row. Good. Keep the hips straight. So you want the hip bones facing directly at the floor. Last one. Woo. So modification girls, I'll bring you this round. We're gonna go for the tap backs here. So in three, in two, 
and one. Either the option one or we go tap, tap, and row, and row. So there's no, um, no tough work on the core there if you're really just starting to rehab your core from a pregnancy or just starting to build your fitness. Hold there. Okay, well done. We've only got five seconds, went into the rest a little there. Last of the round in three, two, and one. Jack, jack, and row, and row. Try and keep the hip bones facing the ground. Keep the core drawn in. Glutes are supporting as you row. Woo! Out, out, and last one there. All right, how are you going? You got one more in you? You know you do. Here we go. Take a deep breath in. Plant the hands right under the shoulders. Three, two, and one. So out, out, row, row. Make sure your shoulders are right over the hands. Don't sit away from them. Right over the hands. Yeah, come forward. Good. Again, let's do one more for good luck. Here we go. Out, out, up, up. Woo! Stretch it back. You did it. Congratulations. If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe to my channel or go to mytxo.com for many more awesome workouts. This is a super eight workout. We're gonna have two exercises. We'll do eight reps of one, eight of two, and then we'll climb down six, six, four, four, two, two. All right, the first exercise I'll just show you before we start, it's gonna be a narrow squat. So try this with me. We're gonna squat, tap to the side. I call that a scooter, return and stand, and then we'll go to the other side. Yeah, really good kickoff movement. The second one, we're gonna start with our oh, one foot back. We're gonna go three, two, one shuffles and then a kick. We push the hips forward as we kick, and then three, two, one, kick, all right? We're gonna start with that narrow squat. We're gonna do eight together. Feet in line with the hip bones, nice and narrow. In three, two, and one. So we go squat, tap, bring it up. Squat, tap, bring it up. And we really lift through center as we stand up. That's four, you've been counting. There's four to go, and three to go, and two to go, and one. Okay, we're gonna start with the right foot back, three shuffles and a kick. So we go, three, two, one, kick, set. And again, three, two, one, kick. Now, if you're not familiar, you can leave the shuffle out. Three, two, one, kick, and then you can change sides. Three, two, one, kick. Okay, everyone, let's go. So three, two, one, that's five, and back. Three, two, one, that's six. Two more to go. Here we are, push those hips forward in the kick just a little, and three, two, one, kick and set. Okay, narrow feet, we're gonna go into the squat to tap. Ready, let's go. We have six, tap, stand up, five, tap. Push the weight back into the heels, and keep your weight centered as you tap out. Two more, two, and one. Straight into the shuffle kick, step back, let's go. So, three, two, one, Kick, four, set, nearly overbalanced myself there. A good reminder to keep the core on. And again, shuffle, 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 kick, set. And shuffle, shuffle, shuffle. Woo! Have we got two more? Yeah, here we go. Up, if I made you just two, two extra, I apologize, but you love it. Okay, here we go, four squats, taps. Let's do it. Squat, tap, bring it up, three to go, and two to go, and one to go. All right, step back. Here we go with the kicks. Three, two, one, and kick, and set. Three, two, one, kick, and set. Two more. We got it, baby. And last one, three, two, one, kick. All right, into the narrow squat. Last one, let's go. Squat, tap, bring it up. Squat, tap, step back, shuffles, go. Three, two, one, kick, set, last one. Woo! All right. Little breather here. If you don't want to have a breather, you know what to do. Skip it out, okay? Take a deep breath otherwise. I know some of you are really advanced and you want to keep pushing. Skip it out. I'm going to show you the next two exercises while you do or while you have a rest. Exercise one, it's a drop squat, double pin jump. Exercise two, it's a forward lunge with a floor touch. If you don't want to do the, the jumps, you can just step out on the squat. So let's start there. Eight reps, time to go, baby. Three, two, one, we go. Drop and jump. Just seven to go, nice and easy. Remember, if you want, you can just step out and step in. 
All right, we've got two more. So drop and double bounce, drop and double bounce. I'll do this on the side so you can see. It's a forward lunge and we touch the floor with the opposite hand. That's one, touch, that's two. We're going to eight. Remember with a lunge, keep your feet as if they're on train tracks, not on a tight wire, yeah? So you want them hip distance apart. Two more, two, and bring it in, and one. Okay, back with me for the six drop squats. Let's go. Drop and double, drop and double. Four more. Oh, it's nice when you drop the two off, isn't it? Three, two more. Last one. All right, here we go, into the lunge. Let's step it in. So you can see with a the lunge, there's that little hinge in the hips. If you haven't got the range, just take an athletic position, yeah? Two more, two, or reach it to the ground. One, into our fours, drop squat, go. Drop and double bounce. Remember, lower yourself down with control. One more, woo! Forward lunge, I'll stay with you this time, let's go. So step forward, reach to the ground. Step forward, reach to the ground. If you can't get there, just keep athletic. Okay, drop squat, let's do it. Just two, and jump it in, and one, two lunges, stay focused, here we go. Two, and in, one, and in, skip it out. We got a little bit of time. That's it, just let your body cool down a little. Woo, breathe it in, four, five, and four, and three, and two, and one. Well done. Want all the tips and tricks on how to get the most out of your bounce forward challenge? Well, simply click the link below and fill in your details. You'll not only get all the goss on the challenge, but you go into the draw to win TXO, weighted gloves, an exercise mat, and a really cute TXO visor. Welcome to another Tabata workout. This one is for your guns. So we're gonna hit the ground. You're gonna need a pair of dumbbells for this set. We've got 20 seconds of work and 10 seconds of rest, two exercises. So we're gonna start, put the dumbbells right underneath your shoulders and then take your hands just wider than those dumbbells up in top. Now, those of you who are nice and strong on the toes, we're gonna to do two shoulder taps and one push up. Are you ready? Core on, glutes on, and waiting for that timer. Here we go in three, two, and one. So we're gonna go shoulder tap, shoulder tap, and we come down to a push up and up. And again, shoulder tap, shoulder tap. Now, of course, you can take this down to your knees, tap, tap, but think about the push up technique. You want your hands just wider than your shoulders, but you want your elbows to go back at 45 degrees as you come down. That's your strongest point. Last one, and down. Well done. It's actually a nice distance gauge to get your boobies down to the dumbbells. Okay, here we go. Underneath the shoulders, we're gonna go plank row, plank row, and down dog. Let's go, join in with me. So we're gonna go row, and row, and down dog, and back. Now when you do a down dog, you wanna make sure your chest doesn't go back past the shoulders, just in line, that's it. And with your rows, nice and 90 degree angle, starting the movement by pulling your shoulder blade across your back towards your opposite hip pocket. One more for me, here we go. Core in, two, and she's done. All right, so we're gonna go back to the push-up. Take your hands wide, take the knees back if you're going on your knees or up to your toes in three, two, shoulder taps. Go one and two, come down, come up. Oh, push-ups, they're such a tough one for me. I'm gonna take the mod with you. Here we go, so tap. I blame the babies, too much carrying them around, you know? Here we are, and again, up and up. We're gonna go one more. Are you ready? One, two, and push up. All right, lovely. Here we go, bringing the knees in, hands on the dumbbells. Worked into the rest of it there. So we're gonna go in three, two, and one. So row, 90 degree angle with the arms, and then push your booty back, and down we come. So row, and row. Be nice and gentle on the knees as you come down. Nice, gentle lower. That's part of the exercise for the upper body. It's controlling with your upper body. The rest of your body, I guess. Yeah, that's the way. All right, here we go, last one. And settle. All right, ready for round three. Hands just wider than the shoulders and knees come back. You can go knees or toes. And again, shoulder tap in three, two, and one. So tap and tap coming down. Woo! So with a push up, you wanna look about one meter ahead of your hands, I guess, or maybe not even half a meter, but you don't wanna 
kind of tuck like this. Whoa, that's no good. Okay, so tap and tap, come down, core on glutes on, that'll do us. All right, bring the knees in, hands on the dumbbells. Woo, take a deep breath. <laughs> Here we go in three and two, core on and go. So rowing, shoulder blade pulling across the back and downward dog. Woo. Now if you want to pick up the pace with me, let's go. Row and row and back and return. Here we are. So row, again, lengthen the neck and start the movement by pulling your shoulder blades back and across. Row and row. One more, my friend. Let's do it. And up and up. Woo. All right. Flip the ponytail. One more round. We got this. We got this. I know the arms are sometimes tough. Let's go. To the toes with me if you can for at least one round. Core and glutes on. Shoulder taps. Go one and two. And we come down looking just ahead of you. Hop and tap and tap. Oh, it's a good challenge this one. Remember, elbows go back at 45 degrees. What I don't want to see is this. Oh gosh, that hurts. Don't do that. Don't do that. That's no good. All right, coming forward. Elbows back at 45 and we're done. All right, last one. Here we go, we're going for a plank row in three, two, and one. So row and row. Now the best thing about this upper body workout is it's, it's upper body, but really we're working so many parts. We've got core, we've got arms, we've got shoulders, we've got back, we've got even the glutes stabilizing. Woo! And a little bit of cardio because hello, full body. <laughs> even though we're in the upper, these are excellent movements. Last one, and two, and come back. <laughs> All right, pop those dumbbells away from you. Or if you've gone light enough, you could probably even use them for this drill. We're gonna finish up with a little punching combo. So you're gonna be to this side of your mat, outside foot is forward, hands up. We're gonna do a little jab, jab, cross. And then you're gonna go over to the other side of your mat, outside leg out. Ready, let's start over here. In three, two, and one. So jab, jab, power cross, round we go. And again, jab, jab, power cross, over we go. That's it, remember. Something I always hear when people are punching is punching them down here. I'm sure you guys don't do that. It's Chief's program, right? But, 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 we come from the top of the body. So, punch, punch, cross. Good. Into this side. Jab, jab, cross. Let me see a bit more power in that cross hand. Jab, jab, cross. Nice. And scoot it across. Jab, jab, cross. If you've got more room where you are, jab, jab, cross. Feel free to really take a big travel. Jab, jab, cross. You got it? A little bit of fierce. Jab, jab, cross. Keep the hands up. Again. Ha, ha. Have you got a few more for me? Here we go. One more on each side. Here we go, tap, tap, big cross. Woo, heart rate's up now. And she's done it. Well done. Thanks so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, you'll love our health and fitness program. It's a holistic, fuss-free lifestyle with daily coach workouts, family-friendly meal plans, and practical mindfulness. Head to mytxo.com to sign up today. Welcome to your core flow. We are gonna hit the ground. I'm gonna show you the first few moves because they're a little bit more complex than we've done so far. We're gonna have our legs in tabletop, hands on the ground, back flat, core pulled in. We're gonna do a scoop. So we go kind of down up like we're scooping ice cream. Move two, we're gonna put the hands here, we're gonna put our feet together. It's a butterfly, we open our wings and then as we close it, we bring ourselves up and then we'll do a combo of those two plus a few moves you already know. So everyone lie flat and let's do it. We're gonna scoop. So belly in and we go scoop. That's one. We're going to eight here. Keep the chin slightly tucked. It's like you're scooping some ice cream out. The bigger the scoop, the more the ice cream. <laughs> so I want to see some big scoops. Last one. Now toes together, butterfly. We open the legs, we crunch and come up. Open the legs, crunch and come up. I want you to push the head back into the hands and lift from the rib towards the hips, depressing that belly button as you come up for three and two. One for one, let's scoop it first. So we'll go, oh, stop, sorry. So we'll go scoop and then we'll open and lower, bring it up, other side. So we say lifted for the scoops here, a little bit more difficult for the combo. Scoop and then we go open and close. We're actually gonna stay for four more here. Okay, so we go scoop, stay up, open and close. Again, scoop, keeping those shoulders off the ground, just lowering as you open the legs. Two more. We'll take a little time to get this one right. Down, good. Okay, keep them up. We're gonna go regular bicycle. So cross and cross, bringing the armpit to the opposite 
hip, that's the way, or rib to hip, whatever you want to think about it. That's halfway, we've got eight and seven. Woo! Keep breathing, four, three, two, one. Everyone quickly flip into a mountain climber. So butt down and we jump the foot up, tap the ground under our belly button. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And again, we're gonna go doubles here. Go 16 more, good. And another eight. So eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Drop it down. I'll give you guys a few variants this time. If you're struggling with any of those, bring the legs up. We're gonna keep our head down at first. We're gonna scoop, so down and up. This should feel okay for everyone. Just take a little scoop if you're not feeling confident, okay? Keep the back pressed into the floor. We've got three to go and two. Hands behind the head here, toes together. We open the wings and we close and bring it up. Open and we close and bring it up. Open, close, well done. Four more of those. Now, if you don't want to come up, you can just stay right here, okay? If it's not feeling good to crunch, that's fine. One for one, stay up, let's go. So we go scoop and then we go open and close again, scoop. Now, remember my peeps that don't want to crunch, you can keep your back flat the whole time. Just do the legs, that's so fine. We're gonna stay here for the full eight. So four more, four, and then we go open and close. Three, nice long combo hold, and two, keep the shoulders up, keep the head supported, and last one. Okay, we're in the perfect position, bicycles. Let's go, 16 of these bad boys, and then we're gonna go 16 double mountain climbers because we could, and why not? Good, that's it, eight more, eight, seven, six, five. Keep the back down if you're not comfortable being up. Three, and two and one. Okay, roll yourself up. Let's flip it over. And we're gonna go, I think we did 32 last time. How good. Here we go. So we go up, up, up. Just tapping the ground lightly underneath your belly button because we are climbing a mountain, remember, with a mountain climber. That's the original thought. Good. Keep that butt down. Woo, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. All right, flip it back over. We're gonna go a little half round here. So back to our first position, hands down, big scoop, belly pulls into the, into the ground. We go scoop, that's four. Try and make them nice big range, just two more. Well done, ready for the woo, butterflies. Try to get too much ice cream there. Always, always bad when you do that. Something happens, doesn't it? All right, combo, let's scoop. Just joking, never too much ice cream, guys. Here we go, scoop it and open. And two more, so scoop. Remember, just the legs to, to make this a little easier. Last one. All right, bicycles, just eight. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Roll yourself up and over. Woo. Man and climbers, just 16 to finish. Butt down, core on, let's go. Woo! Here we are, halfway. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Hold, come down into a plank. Glutes down, core on, hold yourself here, nice and strong. Woo! And I've got a little something something for you to finish, you know I do. So coming back up to the hands, hope you've caught your breath. We're gonna do four plank jacks, one burpee. You ready? Three, two, and one. So four, three, two, one. Jump the feet wide, reach and jump to the ceiling. Remember, you can do alterations on the burpee. Alternatives, alterations. What are we, making clothes? You can step in and reach and bring it out. And again, plank jack, three, two. The easiest version is step, step, hold, come back. One more tough one, let's go out, out, out. Jump or step. Woo. Now let's do one more, come on, you got it in you, I know. Four, three, two, very last one, stay on your feet here. Woo. Or if you need to, lie down. <laughs> If you love the workout, check out many more at mytxo.com. Congratulations on an amazing workout. Let's cool down now. We're gonna start with the legs wide, take the arms up, grab one wrist and lean over, lifting through the top rib. So through this one here, really nice juicy bend. And we're gonna go the other way. 
Well done. I feel like the cool down is just, bring one hand up, one hand down. The, the big thank you you give your body after an awesome workout. Turn this toe out, give me a little flat back. Reach for one wall and the back wall. Come down to your ankle now, hold. Maybe some of you are a bit more flexible than me, I'm working on it. Come back to centre, have a heavy hang and roll yourself up one vertebra at a time. We're gonna go the other way. So reaching one hand up, one hand down, and now reach to the other wall, and the opposite hand goes to the back. Come down to the ankle, hold there, stretching through the hamstring. Walk back to centre, and just really let yourself hang heavy now. Grab your elbows, and a little swing side to side. Let your head hang super heavy. And now let your hands drop to the ground, draw the core in and slowly roll up. The neck comes last, aside from the ponytail. And we reach the hands up overhead. What we're gonna do is we're gonna bend one arm behind the head, juicy little tricep stretch there. Whatever workout you did, we probably used those a fair bit today. And reach up, other side. Great work. Start to bring that breathing down. Reach up again and we're just gonna lengthen here. I want you to lift up from under the ear. So push one hand away, lift up, never push the head down, lifting up, lengthening. Now look towards your opposite foot and again, lengthen up through the back of your head, pulling this hand up towards the ceiling. We're gonna go the other way now. So to the side, lengthen away. A lot of the time in hip, we are jumping or moving at pace. Look to the opposite foot. So in the stretch, lengthen up. I like to just re-lengthen your body, reset your body positioning. Hands or palms facing forward, but forward little half circle of the head. Always just a half, never a full circle, protect the neck. Come back to center. Last one here, look down, hands at the base of the skull, push your head back into the hands as you slide your hands up your neck. How good does that feel? Take an easy little spinal flush out here, just allowing your body to move easily. And we're gonna go into the lower body. So we're gonna start here, take one foot up into a quad stretch, core in and really pull that back and tuck the core in. Pulling your foot right back, true quad stretch. If you find you have trouble balancing, squeeze the opposite hand. It really, really helps more than you can imagine. Good, now we're gonna swing that foot forward, push the hips back, little hammy stretch, and bring it back up, take it behind into a calf stretch. So pushing the heel down into the ground there, gentle stretch, we never wanna to go too hard on the calves, they need gentle love, and <laughs> kill them with kindness, yeah? Come on in, shake it out. We're gonna go the other hand, uh, other hand, other leg. Draw the hand back, core in, pull that leg back, Squeeze the opposite hand for balance, holding for four and three and two and one. Swing it forward, little hamstring stretch, hips go back. That's the way. And we come up, bring that foot behind. Little gentle calf stretch. Now I'm only gonna take you through a short stretch today, but you can continue, grab your foam rollers, have a little juicy extra time in each position if you have the time for it. But for now, we are gonna come down. I'm gonna give you a little knee roll, just allow those muscles around the knee to relax and we go the other way. And we're gonna just come down to our mat for a final stretch. So what I'm gonna do here is stretch out your hips. We're gonna have our feet like they're on train tracks. One foot forward, squeeze the butt that's at the back. I want it like a little rock. And we're just gonna rock forward and back. You shouldn't be able to go far here. What I'm doing is I'm resetting your pelvic position after a bit of jumping around and moving in dynamic positions as we do in hit. Now you can release the glutes and you can swing your hands up, lifting from under the ribs and really come forward into a hip flexor stretch. All right, last one for this side. We're gonna now put the heel in line with the knee, squeeze the glutes again, turn the chest to me, push this out and we're gonna go this way. Again, you won't get too far. I'm resetting that nice pelvic position and allowing your hips to relax. So now release that glute, palms forward, reach down, reach up. And we're gonna swing it back this way, lengthen up overhead. All right, coming back to center, we'll do those on the other side and then you are pretty much done for the day. One foot forward, squeeze that glute and we're gonna rock forward. Again, you won't come get that far. I'm locking that glute in for you, good. One more, coming forward. And now we release that glute, sweep up into a hip flexor stretch, lifting through the ribs, beautiful. 
and come down. Out to the side, heel in line with that knee. We're gonna squeeze that glute, push this out, turn this towards me, and we come this way. So rocking over, keep that booty squeezed. Imagine I'm there, I'm gonna give it a poke. I don't want anything soft, I want that tension. Let's go, out we come. Relax, palms forward and reach up. There you go, good. We're gonna come the other way, we're gonna stretch over. Well done. And now I want you guys to just come into a nice all fours position. The pony. And we're gonna go for a nice little cat cow. So breathe in as you look up. Breathe out as you draw in. This is also a really great one for the pelvic floor. So breathe in as you look up. And as you breathe out, zip that pelvic floor right up and in. And again, relax, look up. Breathe out. Come back to centre. Give me a little sexy cat. Hips side to side. And last one, knees out, hands in front. Sit back. Take a few deep breaths here. Allow that body to relax. Come forward. Get the, uh, the hips out if you've got the range or just drop them to the mat as I have. Lift up through the chest. Good, we're gonna come back under the body. Tuck those toes. One more very important stretch to go. I need you guys to raise one hand, bow. Give yourself a round of applause. See you next time.